Hey, what's going on, guys? Edward here, back with another video. Today, we're going to show you um, what happened today with the markets. Um, Nasdaq, US 30, S&P 500. We had a little pullback. The market actually uh, pushed up in London session. This was pretty much last night. I don't know if you remember my previous video I posted on on Sunday. I posted it last night. Um, the market was somewhere around here. Market was somewhere around here with US 30. And I was predicting actually a a pullback. I did some some lines right here uh, that you know during Asian session the market most likely was going to drop. And in London, London session you see starting to see the momentum right there. The market actually pushing up very strong. So nice uh, right here the market was actually breaking, and I was like okay after breaking right here this zone I was you know a little. Um, um I, I I sent a pick the, the analysis to the group and I was like, okay, this might actually after breaking this zone because it look, it looks like it did break it, uh with these candles right here already on top of the zone, um the market actually ended up uh falling. So it has it had some type of pullback uh today. Um by the time the New York stock is changed open uh, instead of actually pushing up, the market went down a little bit. So it's testing this zone again. You, you can see right here from these three candles, okay? You see this big momentum right here by the when the London session started, okay? That right there is called, this, this entire zone right here, this is a demand zone right here, okay? Why is it a demand zone? I'm looking constantly for three candles, at least three big candles. You see the big pushes. This is a one hour time frame, right? So you yeah, had from three in the morning, four, five. So three hours consecutive, just injecting money into the market. It was not enough. And then at the end of the day, when the New York Stock Exchange opened and the, um, the United States, the New York session opened, uh, actually it went down. So a lot of sellers got in control here. But guess what? You see these rejections right here that are happening? And this is good sign and it's a good zone for actually buyers. But we are right now in Asian session. So again, in Asian session, the market may not move that much. So it might still consolidate, it might play around here. And perhaps during the London session, it would either, you know, this, this uh, demand zone or support make may become a resistance or a supply zone and this thing could actually continue falling okay but it's a, right now with this push and this retest right here and this rejection it's a good sign that the market might actually push up again okay um now again just be careful right here because we are in, now in this it's coming back inside this zone let's say this is a consolidation right it's a con, our consolidation box right now so it's kind of tricky to get in on a buy right now because we're still inside. So it might just push up a little bit, just make like a little fake out, just test the zone and boom, and melt, okay? So having in mind all possible scenarios right there, you see this is another nice demand zone because look at this injection of money right there, just one single candle, just you know bursting off, flying like a rocket. So a lot of money right here uh, we're put into it. So market did came back down, retest twice and then started to push up. So I still, I'm still seeing this bullish, um, but there's something that's still making me nervous. And this is what I actually showed you uh, guys um, yesterday, last night. So two scenarios, always, okay? So let's say from this little push right here, okay, market is, it's in a golden zone. It's nice actually to buy, right? Okay, that's a good scenario for a buy. Plus I'm seeing now some other thing right there which could be, could, it could be a nice flag, right? Could be a nice flag. Flag formation right there. You clone that line, you put it at the bottom, and there you go. You have some type of channel right there, okay, on a four-hour time frame. So if you want to go on a buy, I recommend you waiting for the breakout of this trend, okay, of this downtrend right here. Wait for the breakout and boom, you buy. Take profit somewhere around this zone. If you want to hold it for longer, well, that depends. But, um, but right now, the market, you, like in here, you see this push. You got the pullback. So this could actually continue dropping. 
it's still possible that maybe during Asian session or tomorrow, this thing could actually try to reach this zone. It may try to reach this zone again. Uh, I don't know, consolidate a little bit right there and then perhaps start to look back up, okay? Or it could just melt down. It could continue dropping. It could continue pushing back down. So let's see. Let me open the 50 simple moving average. You see, we are very far, very far from the 50 SMA. You see that normally the market separates, get a little far away, far away, and then come, comes back down to retest the zone, to retest the 50 SMA, right, on a daily. So you see, we are very far away. It means the price is very expensive. Is it still expensive? And at some point, it will try to reach again the 50 SMA. I want you to understand that, guys, that we are very far. We're very separated. Look at it in the past. When the market is very separated, it, at some point, it will try to come back down to retest that. So this line, uh, this line could actually be continue doing something like this, continue, continue pushing, right? And the market might actually fall and just try to retest the zone before perhaps finding support on the 50 SMA and then continue pushing up, okay? So I want you to have all those scenarios possible. We're very still on a daily, we're still kind of like expensive. Plus if you use also the Fibonacci from this low, you know, this entire push, you see there's no pullback right here. It's just an entire push. So you see that it's kind of like, it could happen. Look at this, this zone. The market could try to reach this zone right here. This entire zone right here, okay? It could come back down to read this, reaching the the 38.20 on the on the Fibonacci, plus also reaching or trying or maybe piercing a little bit, touching, getting close to the 50 SMA before actually starting to push up. So it's still very possible that the market could actually uh, fall a little bit more, okay? So having that in mind in the, in the longer period, you know there are multiple scenarios. Right now it's looking good for a buy if it breaks. Okay, so no looking for buys at the moment. Right now, just patiently waiting. If it falls, it falls. I'm going to be looking for a buy if it breaks, okay? Or if it starts breaking at least this zone, okay? This area to the upside. Because right now it was like a just a fake out right there. The, this zone is still, you see on the daily, where it's able to hold the price right there and just went down, okay? So have that in mind, all right? This is US 30. NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ right quick, it was a nice sale right here. I also predicted this and, and the funny thing is that I didn't get into the sale. Now this also, I was just testing the price that came back down. This is a demand zone. This is a big demand zone right here. Okay. The market did came back down again, pierced the demand zone. It touched it. So it's a good zone for buyers. So they got in control again there so plus you know you're seeing not just the demand zone but you're seeing a nice support you're seeing that you are still on this type of uptrend right there so i did not getting in this in this one neither in this one but i did predict it actually i did send the analysis uh to the telegram group for today the actual free telegram group uh let me show you here one second let me just show you the analysis here I don't know if you can see it. So this is the free group, right, guys? So if you want to follow me there, you're more than welcome. So right there, I did share the analysis. Let me go back when the market was somewhere. I even sent videos in there, you know, with the en the entry point and everything, explaining the reason why I was actually making that decision of selling. Like, I did not get in. I just sent it to the group. You know me. If you've been following me a little while, you know, you know I don't feel comfortable selling with sales um, and I just I, I just didn't get in. I don't know why, I just didn't get in. I did send the analysis, it was a good sales setup, right? Why did I get in on a sale? All right, again, if you go here, you see this, this entire candle, like this entire candle, this big push right here to the downside, this drop, this is, you know, big fish right here, okay? market um the banks right now institutions getting into sales right now so this entire you know i draw it on the top but it's actually the entire candle you can you can draw it even even sometimes from the entire candle right there okay uh, of that push so that to me it's a big big supplies on the market drop 
came back up, retest. You see the, all these rejections right there? This doji, you know, bunch of rejections. The market didn't want to go down. At that point, I knew that it was a matter of time. It was about time. It was a matter of time of the, the, for the market to actually come back down. Okay. So I was seeing that big ass doji right there. I told you guys. So, okay, this is definitely going to sell. It's touching this supply zone. All right. And that's what the market did. So it did fall really nice. Um, like about what 105 pips in there, just quick. I mean, about uh, let's see, about two hours. Yeah, it took like two hours to actually reach reach that, which was nice. And now this is how it's looking on a one hour time frame. It's looking like a like a flag, like a bearish flag. This is what I'm saying. Like uh, again, from last night, I was kind of like predicting and saying, okay, I think the market will still continue to go down. Like right now, you see what's happening right there. Um, I was saying last night that the market could actually do this, pull back and then continuing testing this zone, okay, this previous high. And then perhaps, you know, we're actually starting to uh, to continue pushing up, okay? So that's what I'm seeing on the, on the, on the daily. Why am I seeing that? Why is Eduardo seeing that again? You see the Fibonacci from the top to the high. You see how far we are away from the, uh, like from the 50 SMA, and you see that how constantly, right, often the market is is very like it goes parallel to to the market, and it did reach out sometimes, you know, before actually continue pushing up. So we are very separated, very far away from the 50 SMA. So I think this is gonna come down definitely. This is gonna continue doing the pullback and my reach the zone the 38.20 plus which is the previous high right there retest the zone and then boom continue pushing up all right and then get close to the actual line all right you can it, this could this line could actually continue pushing up something like that and it could get closer to the line okay please remember this remember this guys all right i'm pretty sure it's going to do it I don't want it. Although I don't want this to go down. I hope I'm wrong. And this thing just, you know, continues pushing up and falls some other time. But it is very, very possible. Just want you to understand that. Now, seeing this nice flag again, what you want to do here, if you want to go on a sell, you just wait for the breakout of the flag somewhere around, you know, body of the kind of breaking and you aim to preview zone. Okay, that simple. S&P 500. Uh, right quick also it did pull back and it's testing right now this is a one hour time frame so it's kind of like you see it broke upside we were below the 50 sma it broke now it's kind of like showing rejection or like testing the 50 sma let's see what's going to happen if this breakout you know breakout retest and now it might continue to the downside it's very possible let's see how it looks in a four hour yeah that's a yeah, right here, this is a big demand zone. A lot of a lot of big sellers right here. So plus this is a demand zone. It's a nice nice support right here in a demand zone. So it might be reaching, guys. It might be actually coming down. Let's see how it looks in the daily. Again, look how far we are from 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 this. Let's see if I can actually measure that. But we are very far away. Even even from here. We're about a hundred and 147 pips normally how far it goes 100 pips 110 pips so you see normally s p 500 doesn't go that far away but right now we're very far away from the 50 sma so is you know i think market is just very very expensive right now you're starting to see those rejections these doges right there i think this is about to drop we might have that correction right there. Yeah, this could be re just retesting. You know, price broke the zone, the four hour zone, coming back up to retest and then might start actually coming back down tomorrow. Gotta watch the, the stocks right there. But uh, because this is a nice zone, even right here, you see had a lot of another kind of like rejection in there. And now it's showing another type of rejection in that zone. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, that um, thing might actually come back down very hard. I'm I'm more like into into selling at the moment. 
you know i even though i just i will just wait uh but it's a good it's a good position right there to actually make a sell let's see how it looks on a 15 minute yeah it could be you see could be a nice flag bearish flag so you clone that put it on the top boom you got your flag you enter on the breakout of the flag or you can put a sell stop whatever you want to do there so stop right there stop loss take profit to the zone let's see what's going to happen that tomorrow it's a nice setup right i love this type of setups but if it's a buy if it's a sell i don't get in I don't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable selling on Nasdaq or USD. But it's a nice setup. You see that breakout, retest, creating a flag. All you need to do is either make an entry right there aggressively. You can go on a sale, why not? Or you can just be more careful and just wait for that breakout right there, uh, body of the candle break. In this case, you see where I draw it. I draw it on a 15-minute time frame. So I should be waiting for a 15-minute time, uh, a 15-minute candle to wait to close below that that channel right there and in order for me to actually make the entry. All right, that's a nice setup for a sell, by the way. Um, let's see, then there was a trend. You see this reversal, reversal flag? It was a nice reversal flag right there. See, market wants to go down. See, it's showing, it's showing sign of reversal and continuation. Okay, this is a reversal pattern, right? Price pushing up, slowly pushing up, now breaks. The entry point was right here. Take profit was right here. You see, you would have caught this sell. Nice sell right there. You would have entered at least on that breakout right there. Stop loss if you want to put it. You know, I know it's too, a little too far away. That is the safest zone. And you can aim to this, this zone if you want. But you know you need to be taking profits, securing profits right here. And the market just reached that zone. So test it, previous low. And now it's giving a continuation pattern, which is this one. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. That will be all for today. Follow me on Telegram if you want to, you know, if you want to catch all these uh, movements right there. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, guys.